Today's episode is sponsored by Cindy Suds. Hey, I'm Cindy, and I'm the owner and creator of Cindy Suds. We make all natural bath, body, and home products for families seeking to create a healthier environment for their families. You can find us locally at Kingless, Harvest Health, Hopscotch, and several other local retailers. And if you're outside of the West Michigan area, you can always look us up online, www.cindysuds.com. Hi, welcome to another episode of Ask the Doulas. I am Alyssa Beneclaus, co-owner and postpartum doula, and today we are talking to Ashton and Amber, and Little Parker is here as well, so if we hear him talk, he'll just say hi. Um, hi, you two. Thanks for joining us. Hello. Hi. Uh, we have you both here today because some clients do have a little pushback when dad kind of says, why would we have a doula in this sacred space, this birth space? So can you two kind of tell us how that story started for you and what it looked like, your journey into actually hiring a doula? Yeah, definitely. Um, I think for me, I have always been very attracted to the idea of having a natural birth. Um, Ever since I can remember, really, I am a hairstylist and I have a lot of clients that have had babies and actually a lot of them have had natural births and it's always such an emotional thing to listen to their story and, you know, the experience that they have. Um... And I really do think it's something that you very much need to prepare for and set yourself up for success with. Not just something that you want to do, but something that you are, you know, are fully comfortable with for the most part and having people in your court to cheer you along. So I always knew what a doula was and a little bit of what kind of role that they played. And that was always the common denominator in all of the births that I heard about was that you know they did have a, a coach there, a doula there. <laughs> um, And so for me, it was kind of a no-brainer. It was just something that, you know, once I found out I was pregnant, it's like, well, we need to start looking into doulas. And so I had brought that up to Ashton one day and and was just like, you know, well, we got to hire a doula. And I think it kind of caught him off guard a little bit. And he wasn't exactly sure what it was or why we would need one. And it was something that I knew that I wanted, but I wasn't so prepared to explain to him what kind of role they actually did play in a delivery room. How did that conversation kind of look, I guess? Um, how did you start it with Ashton and Ashton? What were your initial thoughts when she said doula? And you're like, doula what? Yeah, I think I just went in, you know, assuming that that he was going to be on board with it and like, yeah, of course we're going to have a doula. So, you know, I was already kind of researching, you know, ones in the area and brought it up to him and I kind of just remember, you know, a little bit of a, well, well, why, you know, and that took me off guard a little bit because I don't know why I assumed he knew what one was and that that, you know, would be really helpful to us. And in that moment, I wasn't sure either how to explain to him what one was. So I kind of remember there just kind of being like a, well, we'll go back to the drawing board for a minute. I'll, you know, do my research and kind of come with, up with some um, possibilities of ones to talk about. It just didn't go as smoothly as I thought, and um, I, I guess I kind of felt bad too that that I didn't explain what one was better to him. And I think you know, and obviously you can talk more about this, but I feel as though he thought you know it just wasn't necessary. And yeah, the why, like why would we need that? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think the conversation uh, you you brought up the idea of of having a doula. Uh, I didn't even, I didn't know uh, what a doula was, had never really heard the term before. I think maybe we'd seen some episodes of the Mindy Project, and that was kind of my first <laughs> exposure to, uh, to a doula. Yeah. Um, so yeah, at first, you know, uh, the idea, you know, at this point, we're a few months, uh, a few months along pregnant, you know, we're, obviously the, the shock has hit us, it's still, you know, still kind of surreal, not sure what to expect. Um, and the thought of, you know, up to this point, it's it's the two of us. You know, the the team the team effort that's going to get through. You know, get through the uh, the delivery, and um, you know, I guess I kind of had that anticipation going into it that it would just be the two of us, and that we can we can do this, and we'll you know we'll do our our homework, and we'll learn the techniques. You know, that'll help uh, you know, help help you deal with the pain and everything, and you know, however I can help you uh, cope with that. Um, and 
the idea of bringing someone else in, uh, you know, as I started to, you know, as you described it, uh, you know, somebody to help uh, help you through the birthing process, you know, at first, I, yeah, I, I felt a bit, a bit taken aback, um, almost that I wasn't, you know, that I wasn't going to be good, like, what, am I not good enough? Like, am I not able to support you through the birthing process? Uh, so I felt a little shafted at first. Um, and it wasn't, it probably wasn't until I did some research and uh, we picked up the book of uh, The Birth Partner by uh, Penny Simkin, um, which is, you know, really an in-depth, uh, you know, guide to well, what doulas are and, and a good, you know, a good um, resource for, for fathers and, and expecting mothers and probably other, other doulas and it says birth companions here. Um, so it wasn't until I started reading into that as to what the role, you know, it's not that they're just the doulas coming in and just supporting you, but they're really supporting me as well. And I didn't really understand that. I didn't think that I would need, you know, support through the process. But, you know, the fact is, you know, we ran into all sorts of obstacles and unknowns. And, um, you know, having uh, this doula, this, you know, ex somebody who's been through, you know, dozens if not, you know, more uh, or hundreds even of uh uh, births with different people to you know, having that kind of experience and, and as you say in like in our court really helped to you know it ease a lot of uh, you know, concern and um, you know overall looking back on it would absolutely do it again um, you know, even though we ended up having a uh, not a natural birth but a cesarean birth it was uh, uh, maybe even even more beneficial um, you know, because it was such an emotional roller coaster. We were set up to have a natural birth, ended up you know, needing a cesarean because he was a uh, breech. Um, and that emotional, uh, you know, deviation was, uh, you know, the doulas really helped us process that as well. Um, so, yeah, it was uh, um, tough to process at first, but... Um, yeah, definitely, definitely would recommend it. So how long did it take you to get there from the day you said, I want a doula, and he was like, what the heck, to this now of him saying, okay, sure, I'll read this book, and yeah. I'm all in? You know, for Ashton, I think that he needs a lot of information around something before he's on board, and I'm totally the opposite. Like, I put all my eggs in a basket, and I just go full forward without, and I'm like, I'll figure it all out later. Well, he's very opposite. Um, and so I had picked up the birth partner book for him because I do think that you know, um, he just really need to, needed to understand the whole picture and the role that a doula does play, and he didn't know that. So how am I going to get him on board for something if I just say, well, they're just a coach in the delivery room? Like, it is so much more than that. Um, and so I think that just having the information is so powerful with that because everybody has pushback to stuff that they don't understand. That's just kind of human nature, right? So I think, yeah, the more information that he received... And, you know, reading that book, too, I think that he felt so much more empowered about birth and, you know, being a good birth partner for me, the role that, that he would be, and also knowing that, you know, a doula is just, yeah, making him stronger, you know, throughout it and making me stronger and just having, um, you know, somebody to always, you know, go to with questions, like, no matter what it is. And for me, I feel like, our doulas, Ashley and Kristen, showed up in such a different way than I had originally expected. You know, you bring them on to help you in the delivery room, and that unfortunately wasn't the case for us. But the support that we see received going up to that um, was just incredible. You know, texting them with random little things. I mean, it was my first pregnancy. Like, things that, you know, I would have, like, a question about something, I would have a sensation and be like, you know, is this normal? And I always had somebody that I could go to, you know, with just the, a shooting of a text, no matter what time of day it was. Um, and that was really, really awesome um, for us, but especially, you know, for me, just knowing that things, you know, were normal and I didn't have to worry about, you know, stuff. And, um, and we, you know, we went through the hypnobirthing as well. So we just received, I think, so, you know, by bringing Gold Coast on, we had interviewed a couple doulas. Um, you guys were one of them. And we just felt like it was such a good match. Um, and, you know, we did the hypnobirthing and just receiving so much, you know, information um, around labor. Like, I had no idea what your body even does during labor. And I think that, you know, bringing a doula on and just getting so comfortable and confident around 
you know, what labor is, how it goes down, the, the differences, the changes that your body goes through. I think understanding that alone, I felt so much more comfortable, um, you know, in my pregnant body and, you know, potentially going into a natural birth, which is, you know, what we had planned for, but it didn't happen. But I, I felt like I had so many tools in my belt and I just understood a lot more that I wouldn't have received if I had hired a doula because then we probably wouldn't have done the hypnobirthing or any of the other classes that we did as well. So I think that it's just kind of a, um, you know, once you bring one on, there's so much information that you can get from it that, you know, can potentially set you up for a successful birth. So we'll have you on again to talk about how, you know, planning for a natural delivery and ending up with a cesarean. We'll talk about that next time. Mm -hmm. um, Ashton, I actually wanted to ask you one more question before we, um, before we wrap up here. So for the guys, for the dads out there who don't read, like my husband would have never read a book had I asked him to, if, if you had to tell them a couple things to say, okay, this is why you need to hire a doula, what would you say? You know, I think... It's a, it's a tough question to distill it down. You know, everybody's going to have a different uh, perspective on it. Um, you know, I could tell pretty early on when Amber approached me with uh, you know, the, the idea of bringing a doula on board that it's something that would make her feel more confident in the delivery of our first child. Um, and going into, and, you know, at the end of the day, I think that's ultimately, you know, why I... You know, I want. I wanted to support it. I wanted to learn more about it. Um, is you know, is just that. It, it, you know, especially the the stress and kind of the difficulty and the emotional roller coaster that is. You know, you're having your first child. All the unknowns, all the fear. Um, you know, at the end of the day, that having a doula, if that's going to make you more comfortable, then you know, that's that's not something I want to. Uh, that's probably not uh, a fight I want to, <laughs> you know, to get into. Right. How did the doula support you? You had said that you had kind of, it wasn't just for yeah. the, the laboring mother. Yeah. Well, I, you know, um, it was mostly educational. Um, uh, so we did participate in the hypnobirthing class. And I think learning so much about the birthing process through that uh, also helped, um, you know, help me understand, you know, the role of, of a doula, but also the role, the role of myself in the delivery process. And like you felt uh, very empowered. Yeah. You know, I felt like the it, and just... it, it took a lot of the fear and the unknown and made it, you know, more, yeah. more accessible because I knew, uh, you know, I had at least some ideas of, of what we were getting into. Um, but it, you know, again, I think, uh, you know, the emotions and the fear is probably some of the hardest, uh, you know, parts around, uh, at least for us, you know, uh, having our first child and having, having the doula with us to answer both of our questions, um, uh, you know, be there at the, you know, at the delivery, help us with, you know, with our first latch, you know, once our child, once, you know, Parker was born. Um, uh, I think just having that, um, that reassurance and that, uh, you know, that additional uh, you know, resource and expertise just helped made us more confident going into it, which you know was was certainly worth the uh, uh, worth the cost. Yeah, I feel like we really um, had an incredible relationship with Ashley and Kristen. You know, and it happened quickly, um, and you know, like I had already said, just always having somebody to reach out to. You know, I'm. I, you know, had so many like little questions along the road and it's not like you can call your midwife or OB every single time you mm -hmm. have a question and going to the internet when you're pregnant is just, <laughs> you know, I stay away from Google, stay away <laughs> from it. So there was just always somebody, um, always somebody that we could reach out to and that alone, you know what I mean? That alone was worth it. Um, and yeah, just the relationship that we created, you know, and Ashton with them, I think that you know, especially through the hypnobirthing, we both felt very empowered, but they really empowered Ashton to be a, a, a good birth partner, you know, through labor and, you know, doing the breathing techniques together, having him be my coach, you know, um, through that stuff. Um, you know, while our doula taught it, I think that she really put a lot, you know, into his court in a good way, you know. 
Yeah, it was it was like having a co you know, she was you know, Ashley in this case for the uh, majority was was a birthing coach, you know, birthing coach for me, birthing coach for Amber, um, but definitely made me a more uh, competent and, and confident uh, partner, you know, going into going into the delivery room um, and uh, you know through the you know through the last uh, stages of pregnancy. Um, so yeah, it's uh, you know ultimately it it made us both I think more at ease um, and you know more relaxed um, in the pregnancy in general. Um, and that's, uh, you know, that's a hard thing to put a price on. So. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you for sharing. Uh, we'll have you back again, and we will talk about how your actual um, last few weeks of pregnancy went and how your doula supported you in that role. So let us know what you thought about this. Um, if you have any questions, you can always find us info at goldcoastdoulas.com. You can email us there or find us at goldcoastdoulas.com, Facebook and Instagram. Thanks. Thanks, Lisa.